All right, so now we're gonna talk about the law of definite proportions. And this is another one of those laws that led to modern atomic theory. So, you know, the theory that matter is composed of these indivisible, indestructible particles called atoms, and that matter is not infinitely divisible into smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, infinitely smaller pieces. This is one of those early laws that helped uh, scientists start to believe that. So, in 1797, so this was actually, you know, less than a decade after Antoine Lavoisier came up with the law of conservation of mass. So in 1797, a French chemist by the name of Joseph Proust came up with the law of definite proportions. And the law of definite proportions says that a given compound always has the same proportion of its constituent elements by mass. What does that mean? Well, let's go, let's go over an example. So suppose I have a sample of water, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to decompose this water into its constituent elements, which are hydrogen and oxygen. So suppose I start out with 18.0 grams of water. If I decompose this 18.0 grams of water into its constituent elements, hydrogen and oxygen, I'll end up getting 2.0 grams of hydrogen, and I'll end up getting 16.0 grams of oxygen. So <clears throat> knowing this, now what we're going to do is we are going to calculate the what is called the mass ratio of these constituent elements. So the mass ratio. And generally what I like to do is I like to take the larger mass in the numerator. So we're going to divide the larger by the smaller. So all we're going to do is we're just going to take the mass of oxygen and divide that by the mass of hydrogen. So it says we have 16.0 grams of oxygen and we have 2.0 grams of hydrogen. 16.0 divided by 2.0, well, that'll just give us 8. We can also express this as a ratio and say that this is an 8 to 1 mass ratio of oxygen to hydrogen. So, the important thing to note here is that it doesn't matter how much water I start out with, it doesn't matter what I did to make the water, it doesn't matter where I got it, as long as it's pure water, it is always going to have this 8 to 1 ratio of oxygen to hydrogen. Why does it always have the same proportion of its constituent elements? Well, think about it. Think about the formula for water. By now you probably know that the formula for water is H2O. So that means that for every single water molecule we have two hydrogen atoms and we have one oxygen atom. And since each hydrogen atom has a specific mass and each oxygen atom has a specific mass, the ratio is always going to be the same. The mass ratio that is. So there you have it. That's the law of definite proportion.